All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to organize stuff. Believe it or not, when you've already built a large system a construction of items, so you can see my little uh, futuristic uh, kind of a cyberpunk environment, you can still rename a bunch of them all at once. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but it actually works out pretty well. The renaming system is not too shabby. Um, it gets a little bit trickier when it comes to rigging because everything seems to have a specific name, so you got to be careful of that. But with something kind of menial tasks such as these little rods here and maybe even these little guys right here, you can rename the whole set of them. And let me show you how you can do it using Maya's tool. So I can actually go in here and select this guy, this guy, this guy, all the way down. Let's see if I have any more. I think I have a couple more. There we go. Here, here. In here so I can call these it says cube so if I want to keep cube I can or I can name them rename them all the way down the line I can just say uh, support wild jack underscore support and just hit enter and you'll see that it numbers it for me which is pretty kick butt so now you'll see six there's that one there's that one that one that one pretty awesome it goes all the way down the line so you can do that for all your items here like so notice I have a couple things here on this guy actually four so we'll grab this guy this guy this guy this guy this guy this guy and I'll go in here and call this WJ for wild jack that's the name of the short and then we'll go in here and put uh, I don't know what these things just fancy stuff I put in here to make it have some form and function it's like a fancy fire escape so we'll just call this wild jack fire escape and I'll just hit enter and there it goes and numbers it the whole thing for me pretty cool a lot of people don't know about this tool but it actually allows you to organize stuff so you can model like a crazy man come back in here later on and name it or you can name it as you go now, sometimes naming it as you go can be cool but I don't mind this tool because I think it's pretty stinking awesome I'll grab these parts here let's we'll call this WJ ladder I can also parent this guy later on he's really not gonna move so he's gonna be stationary just hit enter you'll see we have two of them and then I can go all the way down the chain Now you're like well Sean how did you get that well you'll see an arrow right here where you can choose between absolute transform relative transform rename or select my name this is also helpful if you can't find anything you should never really have to do this you should have your hypergraph uh, hypershade organized um, as well as your outliner um, but this guy allows you to go in here and change the name of all items. So again, you have to hit shift to be able to get all these guys in the pocket. Probably could remove some of these. Have them relatively even spaced. And then from here, I can just rename this. We'll just call this WJ Ladder underscore steps and hit enter BAM 50 of them all ready to go put it right here this one right here if I wanted I could parent, parent them underneath one item and that actually can help you sometimes where you don't necessarily have to group just remember when you unparent it you have to go in here and uh, when you unparent your items you just gotta be careful so you have to go in here and either choose to group it or parent it or combine them. Now the problem with combining, when you uncombine, you have to rename everything, which is kind of the pain in the butt. So sometimes parenting isn't too shabby. So I can just select this and the whole thing moves. And I can change the pivot on that initial parent to wherever I want. And now this guy, if I wanted to, I could have a little animation connected to him. All the pieces are going together because they're all parented. All right, so that's a quick way that you can organize your scene. And again, you'll see the results. When you open up your outliner, you can see some of the items that we've named. There's a group that I have of stuff that's named, and here's the brace. Here's some other stuff that I made, named later on. But this whole uh, system that you saw me do for the ladder, let's go ahead and select them there. You can see he's right here under our group. And then you'll see, if you go down, there's our ladder. There's our items underneath it. There you all named them all at once pretty cool stuff and you can actually even do it from here but it's better to actually do it in your actual scene so you can keep track of what's what and what it looks like and so forth all right so I thought I'd show you that real quick I'm gonna continue going in here and renaming all my stuff because it's easy this way and we'll go uh, wild jack and we'll call this I guess uh, porta potty 
All right, that's about it for now. I have another video on this talking more about organization as well as editing. And uh, cool.